We will show a short animation depicting the sequence of events. Note that the depictions are not necessarily identical to the airplane displays. In this still frame, you can see a simulated external view of the airplane, the analog airspeed indicator with digits to aid clarity, the main attitude director indicator including an airspeed tape display and artificial horizon. Here is a representation of the flight mode annunciator display, an analog altimeter also with digits added for clarity, control yoke position, thrust levers, speed brake lever position, a profile graph, and select cockpit voice recorder transcript items. The crew was setting up the approach procedure when the airplane encountered light turbulence. Shortly afterward, the autopilot and auto throttles entered go-around mode as the airplane was passing about 6,300 feet. There were no flight crew callouts. Consistent with the activation of the go-around mode, the airplane arrested the descent and began a slight pitch-up, and the thrust levers advanced. The speed brakes were retracted, which could only be done manually. The captain responded to a routine radio call, while the first officer pushed forward on the column and made an expression about speed and exclaimed, We're stalling. There was no indication that the airplane actually stalled. It was likely that the first officer was experiencing disorientation due to the somatographic illusion in which airplane acceleration results in a false nose-high feeling. The airplane reached a steep nose-down attitude and high speed. Below about 3,000 feet, the airplane broke out of the clouds, the controls moved to full nose-up, but it was too late before they impacted the bay.